I get questions on a regular basis of uh, why, which should I edit in, Premiere or After Effects, and you can substitute any video editing software for Premiere, um, because After Effects, uh, while it is Adobe and it has special, some special relationships with Premiere, um, at the end of the day, it renders out a video signal and any video editor can use those signals. So you don't have to have Premiere to use After Effects. Um, but there is a critical difference between video editing software and compositing software. And when I say that, I'm really saying the difference between Premiere and After Effects. Premiere, like any other video editing software, is designed for real-time feedback. Uh, you import clips, you bring them up in your your source viewer, and you watch it. And uh, you want to be able to watch it in full resolution in real time and hear it. And uh, once you've got your clips gathered, then you start to lay them out in your timeline. And as you lay it out, you want to be able to play that timeline back in real time and see your edits and see if the scene is working or you know, whatever it is you, your editing is working. And so that's the key, is that video editing software is a real-time feedback system. Yes, most, including Premiere, offer a lot of, uh, you have transitions between clips, you have effects that you can do with clips, uh, whether it's color correction, uh, or whether it's adding, you know, a title or a graphic uh, over an image, or whether it's um, sizing, which is called scaling, or rotation. There's lots of things you can do inside of Premiere or other video editing software programs that um, you might go, well, why do I need a compositing program when I have all this? Well, the key to me as I've thought about this is the difference between real-time versus rendering. Anything that you play back in Premiere or another video editing program is using the CPU and the GPUs and your memory and uh, just the overall speed of your system to be able to do that in real time and give you a high quality image in real time. Um, compositing is more about what are the special things that you want to do. Um, and by special things that can be you know, glows, it can be in drop shadows, it can be graphics, it can be uh, montages or, or uh, half dissolves between images or also could be color correction, could be green screen, could be a lot of different things. Some of those things you certainly can do in real time in your editing software, but doing it in your editing software, all of that has to be figured out and rendered in real time and there is a finite limit depending on your computer that you're using and of course your software as to how much of that can actually happen at once and uh, whereas in compositing it isn't built for real-time feedback you can see the effects you add a glow to something you can see the glow you want the glow to move across you set keyframes and you can drag the the playhead across that part of the composition and you will see the glow go across probably in a lower in a reduced resolution but close enough that you can see and of course you stop on any frame and it will give you a full rendered frame those things depend on how you have your preferences set up but and we'll go through that as we do uh, beginning tutorials on Premiere and After Effects but the idea is that After Effects is not designed to be a real-time feedback kind of system. It's designed to allow you to do all kinds of stuff to an image or a scene uh, either through means of plugins or multiple layers or movement or shadows or again glows or you know generate star fields. I mean it can do a ton of different things that really wouldn't be practical to do in a video editing system because um, it's too much of a drain on the resources 
of the computer to be able to do all of that in real time as well as playback your video. So uh, very often we'll get I'll get a complaint, not a complaint, but a question as to why won't After Effects play back my video. And it's because when you hit play in After Effects, which it has a play button, uh, when you hit play, it starts to render each frame into RAM. And it renders really fast. Render it each frame into RAM. And as soon as your RAM is full, boom, it kicks out and it will play back whatever it's rendered. But that's it. It won't play back another frame other than what it's rendered. Whereas in Premiere, you don't have that limitation. You put a an hour-long clip on your timeline and it'll play back for an hour. It doesn't um, slow down. It doesn't get funny with the audio. It'll play it back because it's designed to be to do what it does in real time. And After Effects is not. They come from different groups that design them from the beginning of their existence. And so um, it was decided a long time ago that uh, you know, video editing needed to be a real-time feedback, and this compositing, it didn't. And uh, and that's the key difference between the two. And so compositing is generally um, adding layers, and layers can be effects, it can be other video clips, it can be graphics, it can be 3D, it can be a lot of different things. And when we go through the tutorial on After Effects, we'll show you some of the different uh, cool things you can do with it. Now some of those things can be done in Premiere and some of them you could even do in Premiere and it would still play back in real time. But you can't do many of them uh, especially at the same time uh, in Premiere or it'll start to lag. And of course once your video is no longer playing back in real time the value of the software has kind of uh, been diminished because that's the idea is that you want to build your your timeline and you want to watch it. You don't want to build your timeline and then sit there while it uh, huffs and puffs and tries to play it back. So that's the key difference between compositing and video editing. Premiere is video editing. After Effects is compositing and they're not designed to do the same thing. They do have similar attributes and features. Uh, many times plugins will work on either one. So let's say you want to add a, a drop shadow to something in Premiere. It'll be the same drop shadow plugin that you'll find in After Effects. And um, if this plugin is written well, um, it'll probably play back in real time. But now you're asking it to, you know, play back the audio, play back the video, in full resolution and add a shadow which it's got to generate in real time. Probably can do it. But now you want to add a second picture with a shadow. Well now it's got to play back two video sources plus audio plus figure out where two different um, drop shadows are going to occur and render those you probably are going to have a softness to those. So it's not only going to render it, but then it's going to soften it. So you have now have really complicated the real-time processing. Whereas you can do all that in, in After Effects and it won't be real-time. You can look at it pretty conveniently though. And once you hit render, you can render it out, put that clip into Premiere and it will play all day without a problem. So those are the primary differences between compositing and video editing software.